Hi everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It is Monday and it has been a very busy Monday for me. It's the first week of not having my cleaner. I know, hashtag first world problems, but it's the first time I've done a full house clean by myself for ages, probably, I don't know, eight, nine months, like a full proper. Of course I tidy up in the week when she's not here, but anyway, um, she's kind of, it's, it's safe for cleaners to come in the UK, they have been permitted, but our cleaner doesn't feel comfortable working when there is a full lockdown. So we are, we are going to be doing our cleaning for the foreseeable. I've just made myself a sandwich. We do need to go food shopping later. Matt is working from home. The cats have been running around. I've just seen a bow go behind me. Uh, Bo is really interested with the cleaning uh, because of course, normally we take him to my parents whilst the cleaner is here. So he was very interested in knowing what's going on with the dusting and the sorting out of everything and changing bins and scrubbing things. So that was quite good. He's also been sat with Matt while Matt's been uh, doing some live lessons as well. Hi. And here is Matt. <laughs> this is where he's been working. Uh, how's it going? It's been a long day. A long day. I haven't moved from here since seven o'clock this morning. You haven't? How, about how many steps have you done? Not many, because I haven't moved. I've done 4,464 with all the cleaning. I've done 2,000. Well, considering you haven't moved much, that's not too It's probably just bad. flamboyant piping. Maybe. <laughs> oh, we just had, there, there's a Rory. And a bow. Can you see a bow as well? A bow and a Rory. Hey. Hi. So we're going to do food shopping later when you've finished all your work. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of it for now. And we'll catch back with you later. Bo's in my cardigan. <laughs> he just looks like he's walking. <laughs> Hello, are you walking? Hello, how are you doing? Are you playing with my cardigan? Yes. Yes, but at one point he was actually swinging. <laughs> Look at me. It looks, just looks like he's walking. Aww. It looks like he's properly stood up. <laughs> oh, should we get you a walking frame? Then you can walk upright. Would you like one? Would you like a proper walking frame, mister? You're just quite content to dangle. Yes. Oh, you're down. There you go. Would you like a walking frame? Hi, everybody. It is Tuesday and I am on my local shopping centre, town centre kind of car park uh, because I need to get a few little bits and bobs that we forgot to get with shopping yesterday. Matt's at home um, doing live lessons. Then in the afternoon, when he's finished, we are hopefully going to go for a walk to go and see the ducks because it's given out really, really cold, bad weather over the next couple of days, up to a foot of snow. So fingers crossed for a little bit of snow. Um, and that's kind of it for now. I'm going to go home, have some lunch. Matt's already had some. Um, and then um, I've got some work to do. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday the 12th of January and I'm just checking the weather it is six degrees outside it has like I said given out uh, bad weather over the, over the next 24 hours so we shall see if that materializes but until then um, I have another London Sock Company sock subscription to open now it only seems like last week that I was opening my last month's one I think they may have sent this one out early to try and you know avoid any postal disruptions but nevertheless, here we are. Uh, again, the kind of beautiful little sticker. And I'm just going to get straight into it. So that's kind of what I can see as soon as I open it. Oh, there's something else in here. What's this? Oh, I've heard about this on social media. There's an envelope with uh, this instruction booklet. It's a sock amnesty. So with the sock amnesty, you clear out your sock drawer. You can send any unwanted pairs back to the London Sock Company. They'll be repurposed and donated. Uh, and then you've made space and a difference. So in other words, clear out the sock drawer, make space, make a difference. So there we go. So you can do that if you are a member of the club and you've sent out a very handy bag. I will be looking at perhaps doing that. Uh, and also having a really good clear out as well because I need to do a few other drawers and bits and pieces. So, um, courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. 
Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. And that quote was from Winston Churchill. The gentlemanly fact number 78 th this month is, is, I think it might be the same as what I read out last time. A true gentleman inspires, encourages and helps others out whenever he can. In fact, I think that is exactly the same as last month. So without further ado, let's get back into these. Um, I can't remember what I chose, so this is going to be very interesting. And ooh, there's something else in here as well before I... Um, oh, I think it's the normal kind of sock care booklet. There we go, what's this? Uh, find your dash of colour. Well, there we go, I'll be reading that later. So, these are what I ordered for this for this month. Um, and as I said, I've been choosing kind of seasonal colours. So, kind of, they're still kind of wintry colours, but they're transitioning a little bit more. We have a bit of a, of a brighter blue. Um, we have this beautiful, right, I'm just gonna get into them. So, let's start with the most seasonal, and I think is this. Beautiful purple, and I do have a few items of clothing that are actually in purple. In fact, it's gonna go really quite nicely, I think, with this top. Not exactly the same shade, but um, they do kind of match. And like I said, I am still very, very much matching my top color to my outfit. Um, it's something I've been doing now for a little while, and I quite enjoy doing it, and it kind of makes sense, and you, you sort of look very, very good. So I'll show you one side and the other. Um, really, really beautiful pattern on them. Beautiful two-tone as well with the purple. I just absolutely love them. So I'm gonna scrunch this up into, into a sock bundle. By the way, how do you store your socks? Do you lie them flat? Do you do a little sock bundle like I do? Um, I'm just kind of interested. How do you sort out your socks? Right, the next pair. Oh, these look absolutely gorgeous. Let's just cut, cut them free. Right. Oh, well, aren't these beautiful? Let's just remove this little bit of um, thread. Oh, that is the most gorgeous pattern. Kind of yellow, light blue, dark blue, two-tone on the heel and the toe. They are just amazing. I'm hoping you can actually get a really close up of the of the pattern. These are really, really nice. Uh, again, really good quality socks. So soft as well, make a little bundle. Um, and these, I remember seeing these a while ago and wanting them. Um, yeah, again, really, really beautiful, kind of light blue and possibly maroon. I hope I'm, I hope I'm getting the colors correct. I think kind of light blue and maroon. I'll do them really, really close so you can see. Um, kind of like squares. So if you look, if you can kind of make it out, it's squares. And again, with the two tone uh, on the heel and the toe. Gorgeous socks, I love wearing them. And I am definitely gonna read up a little bit more on the sock amnesty. Um, and I probably do need to have a really big clear out. Someone asked, am I running out of space in my sock drawer? Yes, I am. I could probably do with um, at least another drawer or a very, very good sort out and clear out. So there we go. That is my sock club, my sock club subscription from the London Sock Company for this month. Hi everyone, it is still Tuesday and we are walking. We're just at the church, we're going through the churchyard and we're on our way to feed the ducks. And there's Matt carrying what we've brought for the ducks. We oats. bought some oats because we, those were our porridge oats. By the way, this, if you didn't know, this is the church where I was christened in. I was baptised in this church. It's now got grills on the window. <laughs> but yes, and um, there we go. Having a little walk through. And the ducks are actually over in that direction. So that's where we need to head to. Actually, it's quite a pretty church. Yeah, apart from the grills. Apart from the grills. But we can forgive them their sins because we're all about forgiveness, aren't we? I think we are. <laughs> we're definitely about forgiveness. <laughs> it's what people need in this world, forgiveness and compassion. Welcome to the Sermon of Elliot. <laughs> the Sermon of... I should be a preacher. I would like my own congregation, <laughs> but they'd have to be respectfully dressed. They'd have to be, they'd have to be fashionably dressed. Dressing their Sunday best. Yeah. And they better sing nice. <laughs> 
I'm not having, I want, uh, yeah, I'd have a nice funky choir. A really funky choir. <laughs> and they'd have to wear proper nice shoes. And be very well dressed. And definitely no swearing, my loves. Definitely not in the house of God. <laughs> the house of Shaniqua. <laughs> Shaniqua. Shaniqua, the church of Shaniqua. <laughs> I know you all want to worship at the feet of Shaniqua. What? You walk through dangerous substances again. It's just mud. Like, it's Hello. literally just a muddy walk. I'll fall over. <laughs> you won't fall over. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Danger deep mud. Well, it can't be that deep. Look, it's fine. <laughs> it's not as if I'm going to disappear down a mud hole. Oh. oh, look. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look, that is really pretty. It's quite serene. It is serene. Oh, I think they've, they've, they've they chopped that tree. Oh, I love ducks. I can hear them. Can you hear them? Someone made a little duck house. What have they done there? It's a fairy house. Oh, is that a fairy house? I've got to show our little angels. The fairy house. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. One of the um, YouTubers I'm watching at the minute calls all of their subscribers angels. Uh. They're angels. So I think I'm going to have to call... We're going to have to think of a name for our subscribers. Angels, what do you want to be? Do you want, do you want to be gangels? <laughs> do you want to be angels? Let us know. Oh, there's ducks. Oh, I see them. Um. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, they make me laugh. I think they are my, a duck is my spirit animal. What's a moorhen? Well, a moorhen then. They're the same thing. They sit on water and quack. Therefore, it is a duck. Oh, they're having a fight. Oh, do you know what it is? She's gone out with her husband. Oh. They're having a scrap. Get off my man is what she's man leave my men's is alone girl <laughs> Leave my men's alone right let's leave those to sort it out and let's go over here Leave my men's is alone right oh I think there's a fisherman setting up yes, we'll, down. well I want to go feed some ducks So let's have a look yeah, we have to go to the piers over there. We normally go to that one, but it's set up with fish. Right, we, there's another gentleman feeding ducks over there. So we, we're going to go to a different spot. And then we may have to wait a little bit um, until they finish their feed, because they are literally all over there. There's a few, there's a few stragglers. Remember that duck that had the poorly foot? Oh yeah, on the poorly tongue, wasn't it? The tongue, that was it. I wonder what's happened to that duck. Hello, sweeties. You are gorgeous. No, oh, imagine Rory in duck form. Ah. He would be a very big beast. He'd be a very big beastie. All right, let's have. A... I don't know. <laughs> there's maybe there's one lone one. Let's go to the over here or here. <laughs> no, that one's on the squiff. Maybe this one then. Okay. Let's go to this one. Oh, there's a few up there as well. Is that... Right, let's... See, they're all over there. Is that a black duck? Yeah, they're all over there with that man feeding. Oh, is that a black duck? Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah, there's a black duck up there. Ooh, Ooh shall we start or wait? Okay, change plans. <laughs> the man's gone. So we're going to return to the main platform and see if they'll take our oats. Because I think they do prefer bread. You, there's this thing you're not supposed to feed them bread and you're supposed to feed them oats. So we have brought oats, but they probably prefer bread. But we're trying to be good. And of course, oh look, they're going over there now. <laughs> oh, well, they're going to have to come back. My goodness. Ducks. Well, let's let's go back to where we were. Well, I didn't know duck feeding was a competitive sport, but it seems like it is. Right. Okay. Let's get some handfuls and chuck. Mm. 
don't know what it was. Should go over to that one. Well, here then. <laughs> we'll go here. Yeah, we can go down there. You sure? It's not. It's not any more muddy than up there. Just mind the big hole. Ah, here we are. Oh, oh I love them. I love the. Oh, look at this beautiful vista. It's a vista. Right. You're gonna throw the first hand. Duckies. What noise attracts ducks? Sound of hands being thrown, I think. Right, let me get a hand for. Right, hang on. So, get some oats and then you go. Bleh! And then you see if they come. Oh, they are skeptical. They're like, what are these? We prefer bread, thank you, ma'am. Why have you brought us oats? What are these? But they are actually guzzling them up. Here they come. Here they are. <laughs> hmm, let me have a handful. We're looking for the one with the poorly tongue. Oh, okay. Well, I was hoping it wouldn't because it's very high pitch in the end. Yeah. Oh, it's the Mohan. Oh, it's the Mohan. Hello, Mohan. <laughs> there we go. I'll let you survey the whole scene. <laughs> I just zoomed out so everyone can see everything. They're so serene. Imagine if we lived close to here, we could yeah. see the ducks every day. Be some very fat ducks, by the way. <laughs> Aren't you glad we came out? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see if they're going to come close. No, no. Oh yeah, they are. They are. They are. They are zooming. There they are. Mm, incoming. Yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous. I hope you're enjoying our little duck visit, my angels. Have you decided upon a name yet for yourselves? <laughs> I, I can't see that duck with the tongue. Maybe, maybe he was, maybe he was taken to the vet. Maybe he lived in some place. Maybe somewhere that he kept him. <laughs> maybe I don't know. Shall we see if they'll come over here? Can I have a hand. Oh. <laughs> got one this left. Okay, I have some. No. They are really sweet. Okay, the yeah, let's empty, empty the last of it. There we go. I'm afraid that is it, my little duckies. It is. I know. I just love the way they <laughs> they go under the water. <laughs> They're so cute. Some of them have already left. Some of them are literally on the uh, they're pegging it. They are out. But I love the way their heads go under and their bottoms go up and their feet are kicking furiously. Mm. Oh look, bottoms up. <laughs> Ooh, there's two bottoms up there. <laughs> wow. I love ducks. 
Hey all, we finished with the ducks and we, we are on the way back home. Uh, Matt enjoyed all the mud. Home. Didn't you? <laughs> I think he really enjoyed it, not. Uh, so we are in the churchyard. As you can see, there is a church up there. Um, yeah, shall we just get home? Yeah. And have a hot drink? So I'm checking email. <laughs> email. <laughs> so we're going to go home, have a hot drink, sort ourselves out. It got to the point of feeding the ducks where our hands were just absolutely freezing. So, we, yeah, we just decided to go back now. But it's been nice to be out, have yeah. a little walk. And like I said earlier, there could be a blizzard on the way. Ooh. Although Matt thinks it might be for two weeks' time. Yeah, I reckon it'll be rain. So we don't know. So we'll see. But if it does know, I will let you know. And you can I will you show you. Told you so. I will show you my angels. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm outside and um, no, I'm not, this is not me, this is this one who has decided that he wants to walk all over me with his wet paws, haven't you? Let's just pull that camera out, there we go, that's better. Oh my goodness, right, it is Wednesday morning, I am outside with my cup of coffee and Mr Rory there and I am just cooling off outside, um, Matt is obviously doing his home teaching so I just thought I would share my little bit of peace and tranquility with you all. But yes, uh, Rory, thank you very much for putting your paw prints all over me. What What do you say? What do you say, sir? Sir? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> he's transfixed. I think he's upset because there's no Brian today, so he hasn't got a friend outside. Have we? Oh, I see a piggy. I see a piggy. I see two piggies peeking. Hello, two piggies peeking. Right, I wanted to show you something. Um, because, remember I said it's time to prune the roses here in the UK uh, zone? Uh, if you look, there are lots of little buds coming. Let's let that focus on all of them, to be quite honest. So let's just uh, take a little peek here. I mean, we even have an actual new shoot coming there so it's time to prune um so i will oh, here as well look there's lots and lots and lots i just let it focus there is lots and lots and lots of buds that need to be uh pruned with these ones in these pots i think i'm going to take them back probably by about a third and the ones in the border i will cut back pretty much to stumps and the ones in the pots over there i'm thinking of actually leaving to be quite honest um, those were the ones where I put three roses in a single pot because that will be their second year and for these ones in these pots it'll be the third year so because they're in quite small pots I was thinking maybe I could change the soil in year four so we'll see but I do feed them I do feed them throughout the growing season which I think is the right thing to do also this climbing rose over the um, arbor that needs to be pinned back so that we get some nice upward growth oh look who we are joined by matt's just come out and brought baby bobo hello he has he's been dying to come out for ages <laughs> i've just been updating our angels about, oh, about the garden the angels well we're provisionally calling you angels uh <laughs> but <laughs> hello rory oh yeah release the baby He's like, woo, it's wet. Oh, well, I don't, has he been out in, in, when it's been wet? No. He hasn't, has he? Oh, I can, I can, I know. Look, look at me, we're Rory. <laughs> Hello, Flutterbutt. What are you doing down there? Oh, yeah, he's not been outside before. He, had, oh, yeah, he hasn't walked in puddles. And there's little puddles. Oh, exploring. That's a new sensory experience. Wow. I've just been sat here thinking about all the things we could do to our new garden. Ooh. When we get one. When it's baby proofed. <laughs> when it's baby proofed. Hmm. Let's have a little wonder. Hey. Oh, hey, I see you peeping. I see you, sir. What are you doing? <laughs> I see a tail. A big tail. Hello, Bobo. Hey. Hey, I see you under there. What are you doing? Hello, sir. 
What are you doing? I see little legs. And a stout. You're on the move again. Look at you, looking very pretty. No, you do like being outside, don't you? You do. But you are very mischievous. Oh, we can do some digging. See, he, he likes digging in pots because he's used to that from the house. We've just been saying, why don't you go and dig in the big meadow patch over there? But no. <laughs> He's saving that for, for the internal pots. Um, there's also some buds coming on here as well, on the climbing rows. But this one, I don't have to prune. I just have to make sure that it's all tied up properly, which I did do a little bit last year to kind of neaten it up. Where do I see baby feet? We're trying to get him back in. <laughs> We're trying to grab him because Matt's got a live lesson soon. Right, if you go the other side, I reckon you can get him. So we're, we're coaxing him. I'm, I've got a stick. Come on in. What are you doing? We have to try and grab you and get you inside. And welcome to this very ungodly hour. It is 7.58 in the morning on Thursday and um, I am not used to getting up this early. Matt is going into work to film some experiments um, for the kids. So I'm going in to help. I'm going to be cameraman. I've brought my lighting. We're just filling up at the petrol station. Matt just said um, to me, don't get your phone out. You're not supposed to um, get your camera out on in a petrol station. And I said, oh, I've never heard of that in the car. So I've just looked at the sign and it says whilst fueling. To me, that means when you're outside fueling, not in the car with all the doors shut. So I'm like, I'm gonna get my camera out and vlog. Thank you very much. So anyway, here we are. Um, we are at a, we're at a Tesco Extra, for those of you who didn't know um, about Tesco Extra. And yeah, hopefully, I mean, we are gonna have a really, really good day. I'm actually looking forward to going out for the day, even though it's just school. Um, and before we go, we are having a McDonald's breakfast, which is a real treat, so I can't wait. It is Friday today, and we've just been to Aldi to pick up a few bits. There are some certain things that I only get from Aldi. Matt got some pots of chocolate, because that's what he fancies, some pots of chocolate, because he's been craving cake. I also got an empty um, bottle, uh, a refill and reload, so I can use some, I can fill it with some Zoflora. So that's what I want to do. We got some garlic bread for tonight because we're having pasta, tuna pasta. I got some, I love Aldi's wild pink salmon fillets, frozen, uh, they are really, really good. Um, how did this end up in here? It's a triple chocolate Swiss roll, I don't know. We also got, I, I really do like their, their bin bags, their swing bin liners. And I got these little bags. Um, I couldn't find the, I couldn't find the compostable ones, but I do like these for dealing with um, cat deposits, if you know what I mean. Uh, we got some cream, obviously to go with the cake. Now I do love their laundry wash. Um, really, really good, often wins awards. We got some two bottles of Tropical Lily. Just 28 washes. We got two bottles of lavender and spring jasmine. And I liked this one last time. It was really, really good. It was coconut crush. So there we go. And there's nothing else in there. So that's our little food haul. We're trying again. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are trying to walk again. This time, look, there's no ice on Yay! the road. All mud. So we're going the same route as before, <laughs> but we're going to try and just. Well, we're not going to flip and yeah. slide. Yeah. There we go. Yay, we've just got further than we did last time, haven't Yay. we? <laughs> Literally. Um, and we're coming up to the field with the horse in. Oh. So, hello horsey. Sometimes he's really close and you can feed him <laughs> if you can pick some grass. Bottle. Um, here, there's the horsey in the field. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. There he is. Little horsey horsey. Hello horsey. Yeah. And then we're just going to carry on walking. There's a couple more horses. Mm, there is. What Two more horses. And is it, is it a pony? Is one a pony? That would be a pony. Pony and a horse? Oh. I think so. Any equine experts tell me? 
I think one on the left is a pony. There you go, aren't they cute? And we are here at the amphitheatre. If I put it on the widescreen, you can see there's a beautiful pond with lots of ducks. Of course, you can't get down there. But there we go, let's carry on our little walk. There we go, just showing some more horses on our way back. We found a good route. Oh, one day. Okay. We are looking inside like a giant soak away. With, it's got no water in it, I don't think. But there is, if you look, a cat who's having lots of fun in the giant soak away. <laughs> Probably trying to get all the wildlife and things. But there we go. Hey everybody, I've still got my ear pods in because I've been editing and I realised we haven't seen, I haven't closed out the vlog. So I thought we'd do that now. Have you got anything to say about the week? <laughs> it's been a week. It's been a week. We've been reviewing all the footage. We spent quite a bit of time outside. Yeah. Uh, we went to feed the ducks, went on a walk. The walk yesterday, our legs have been aching today. They have. Uh, but we've basically recovered. Uh, my mum is doing us some dinner tonight. Yay. And then tomorrow it's back to live lessons for Matt. Right and... in school. Oh, you are, aren't you? Mm. I totally forgot. Mm. So he's actually back in school. And I have got a lot of live chats to catch up with and some work and also cleaning because it'll be the second week of no cleaner. No. So there we go. We are going to have to, I will have to do some cleaning tomorrow. So if you've enjoyed this week's vlog, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us, to you all and goodbye. Bye. Bye.